Ooh. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my urban farmers. Today is probably like the first time in two and a half months actually that I've um, come outside to uh, see and inspect the damage. By damage I mean there's so much stuff that's actually grown and overgrown and it's looking absolutely ridiculous at the moment. So first is first. I'll probably end up um, doing some weeding in my garden beds. I bought um, some flowers which I thought were going to be a nice ground cover. Ended up just, I think they're bloody taller than I am at the moment and there's no flowers. I don't even know what type they are or anything like that. So I'm gonna chop those down. Um, I've got heaps of kale which I need to cut down and I might do that tomorrow and just freeze it. Um, I've got celery for days pretty much so I'll need to do something with that, I suppose. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'll get a chance to cut the lawn today. But if I can pretty much um, organize most of my garden beds, that would be really good. Or at least pull most of the weeds out and stuff like that. So that will be a good plan to start off with. My garden beds have so much weeds like you wouldn't believe it's just and literally my first um, first time outside looking at the garden itself in in months it's just been such a miserable winter it's just you know when it's just really really cold and there's just things okay it's just been really cold so yeah couldn't really do much um, although my peach pot has started to uh, pick up quite well, there's going to be quite a few, um, quite a few peaches, I think. And the soil is so good now. I put a lot of mulch on last year, but I mean a lot. I mean I put, I think, two or three trailer loads of mulch, and the ground underneath is just amazing, like. So for example, if it rains, um, which it sort of didn't really rain too much over the um, over the winter, but now it will. Um, it just absorbs the rain really well and there's not as much runoff. And that's what I like about it, the fact that, you know, um, all the rain sort of stays there. And I reckon it would be quite soft soil, maybe 10, 15 centimeters deep versus what it was before. Like before it was just almost felt like clay pretty much. Um, but when you walk on it now, it's just really soft. Um, you can really tell that it's, you know, um, yeah, that it's quite uh, nutritious, nut nutritious for the plants. I don't know if you can hear this wind, but I've got the wind muff on. Hopefully that helps. Um, I'm going to put my gloves on, try and find my gloves first. So a little while ago, I got these new gloves. They actually fit me quite well and they're very, very um, durable. So I'm keen to sort of see how they are in the garden. I've used them for a couple of other bits and pieces but so just to give you an indication of how this soil is so we'll uh so you can see how um, nice and soft it is and that I can just pretty much dig into the ground itself and you can see these little roots here too um, and those roots are probably from one of the adjoining trees but I think if, uh, if we go some of these other areas, you can see that it's just, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful soil. And that's exactly what um, all these wood chips do. They convert into soil really well. You can see all this sort of white stuff. Um, it's just the wood chips breaking down. And many times they're not, I, only, I don't even need to dig that much to find worms and such as you can see there's this, just this one here there's a worm there which is also a good indication that the soil is um, quite good and you can see that there's many many sort of little little worms coming up so this will feed all my uh, all my fruit trees here quite well Although I am going to give them a bit of a boost this year with uh, fertilizer. 
so what I want to do this year um, is not this year but like in this video is I'm going to just pull out all these all these weeds that, that are coming into the bloody garden um, and as you can see I've got tomatoes and all sorts of bloody things growing from previous years crops um, and I've got greens for days really um, so I'm going to have to cut some of this up eventually um, and obviously eat it as well there's a whole lot of onions there so you know if, you know, if you've uh, listened to any of my previous videos you'll uh, you would have um, seen that I sort of planted this bed a little while ago and I just sort of threw seeds anyway and just hope for the best well didn't really have to hope for the best this thing just sprung out like crazy um, and it's just growing everywhere um, and then what this is here I'm just going to blend that into the um, the soil but that's just basically um, my um, growing medium for my hydroponics and that'll just give the soil a bit more of a fluffier feel um, hopefully it retains a bit more uh, um, water as well but as you can see here this soil has been you know because I've been adding a lot of um, compost and such to it over the course of a couple of years so you can see all these little worms coming out if the camera ever focuses um, it's fantastic so the worms are really the life to your garden seems like I've got a lot of nettles as well which nettles are really good um, and really really healthy um, and I think if you also um, do get stung by nettles it does apparently promote uh, more blood flow and stuff like that look at this bloody jungle here look at that bloody jungle I'm gonna have to remove all of this I've just yeah I don't even know what's here anymore this is what happens when you don't um, yeah don't come out for two months what the hell is that I'm, I'm even bloody scared to come near that thing. But there's so much stuff here. There's um, some berries, as you can see. I think this thing here is a berry. That and that is a, um, uh, what do you call it, a rose. I've, I see I've got some chili plants there as well. Um, clearly something in the background there. Looks like I've got some uh, flowers all sorts of stuff crazy so my goal is to try and remove as much of this as I possibly can so this is just sort of going in the middle where my compost is and there's so much stuff there so all of these compost bins oh. so all of these compost bins were basically chocker full um, as you can see there some they're mostly half full now um, before but now it's just yeah it's just the stuff sort of the green matter has started to die down and it's just being absorbed in and obviously shrunk quite a bit now the mistake that I made with compost which I'm hoping that you guys don't make is that I composted everything like whether it's these weeds whether it's everything but I think not I think but I know that that's actually helped bloody make these weeds prosper again so what I might need to do is um, just keep on cutting them down until they completely disappear but uh, that's the garden for the moment and this tree that you see just in front of me it's probably a tree that's in excess of about 10 meters high probably not 10 meters high I'd say maybe eight um, is a plum tree and generally by um, end of December or mid-December um, to maybe mid-December to mid-January we've got so many plums that we don't even know what to do with it so it's just absolutely amazing um, and that's just um, on the other side all the other garden beds that I need to actually fix up you can see here that you don't even know where the bloody garden beds ending and uh, or starting and when you know sort of this area is actually sort of uh, ending it's just that the grass is just overtaken basically everything um, and I started, uh, so I had a lot of 
you know little wood bits and all that sort of stuff so I made the fire here I'm gonna probably do the same today um, and then just really try and um, grow as much sorry not grow burn as much as I possibly can so I don't have to um, chuck it in the bin um, to go on the landfill and it's just and sometimes I just use the char and also mix it in my garden as well it's good for I don't know I reckon it, it deters a lot of pests but And the other mistake, not really the mistake that I made, but um, just something to be wary of. Like I planted a, a few of um, these greens, which is good. You obviously want greens, but I've planted so much that I've got no idea what to do with it. Look at all of this. So I've got this big batch here. Um, so that's all parsley, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, and just like six, seven, eight. Um, I mean, I, if I was eating parsley for two months, I reckon... You know, that's that would be um, you know more than enough of a meal. The one thing that I am absolutely going to plant again um, is kale. Kale has been the most successful thing that I've planted so far, as far as I suppose the ratio that it costs versus the amount of food that you get is absolutely amazing. Um, I don't even know how I manage this, but even my pots contain grass. It's just anyway, I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, this pot has always, because this pot was really close to the um, uh, to the lettuce, the lettuce grew through seeds into the pot and now continually we've got bloody um, lettuce in our pot which we don't use nearly as much as we should. Um, and this is the, this is the uh, flower things that I was talking about. Look how big it is, it's just, I reckon that is probably about a metre and and maybe 12, 1300 off the ground um, and still no flowers although good to see my um, uh, grapevines are slowly taking off the ones that are in the pot they were a bit of an experiment just to see how they were going to grow I mean they work, they're, they're doing pretty well I suppose and this is the um, the flower so I'm just wondering how it's going to be when it uh, finally comes out although you know what, I'm not even going to bother, I'm just going to cut it all down clean all of these beds up and then uh, we'll see how we go. All right, three, two, one. to show you the footage of the garden uh, now that it's been cleaned but you wouldn't believe that my battery on my phone died while I was doing a time lapse and the main point and shoot camera that I usually shoot with which is the trusty G7X also died so the new trusty G7 that I bought not long ago from Panasonic jumped in to save the day but unfortunately the only lens that I have at the moment is the 90 millimeter equivalent which is not wide at all so i hope the b-roll that i captured is enough to show you what's been done so far um, so i managed to uh, clean most of the garden beds which is good uh, still a bit of work to do though uh, not nearly as much so as soon as the weather gets warm i will start planting my favorite uh, vegetables one thing that I will do this year that I didn't really do too well last year is to rotate my crop. Uh, so I will do the usual rotation of uh, root, fruit, green, bean, which basically means that there, uh, where the root crop was will now be fruit, where the fruit crop was will now be greens, and where the greens were will now be beans and so forth. So I hope you sort of get the idea. Uh, so this is just uh, so that the nutrients from the soil get maximized as much as possible as these four different groups of vegetables consume different amounts of nutrients out of the soil. If you don't do this, it's not the end of the world, but it does mean that you may or may not have the same harvest compared to if you say did rotate. So anyway, the weather's getting a bit better, so I'm going to spend a lot more time outside, which I'm really looking forward to. And uh, my son, who is now eight months old, is uh, going to hopefully start walking soon. And I'm super excited for him to be with me and help me out in the next few months as well. So 
Really looking forward to that. So if you got here and you didn't fall asleep, click on the thumbs up as a well done to you, my friend. If you enjoy the content and are not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell thing so that you get a notification when the videos come out. And uh, I hope you really have a nice day and uh, get out and plan something. Love you all and I'll see you soon. Oh, it feels so good to be making these videos again. All right, see you guys. Bye.